and an exclusive talk with singer Paul Simon I'll give you this here in Detroit about how to make a difference for those children. Okay, I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> This is the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor reporting tonight from Detroit, Michigan. And later, singer Paul Simon talks about helping the children of the recession. Coming up here in tonight's CBS Evening News, singer Paul Simon's campaign to help the children of this recession. God makes his good. We've spent the day here in Detroit with the Children's Health Project, which brought medical teams here to help kids get the care they need. And today we sat down with one of the co-founders of that group, singer Paul Simon. I am just a poor boy. Paul Simon began first as a folk musician in the 1960s with his partner Art Garfunkel. He expanded to many different musical styles and he's still a creative force. But 20 years ago, he turned the power of his celebrity towards helping the country's most vulnerable citizens, its children. I didn't think that fame was worth very much, except when it's used in the service of others. Children's Health Project vans have spread around the country. Until now, the most devastated area it visited was New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Detroit is really, uh, kind of shares this uh, uh, shameful distinction of being the other city in the United States that is really devastated by poverty. You lose a child for their life because of, a, of an easily treatable uh, medical issue. And that's the goal of clinics like this, to fix that? Yes. Despite the worst financial crisis in a generation, Simon says he's optimistic. We have the capacity to have a healthy population. We can do that. The species has the ability to make life on this planet uh, like a paradise. When I was and a even here in Motown, the folk singer from the 60s who embraced world music in the 80s still has the power to inspire. Your music lives forever.